Hi, this is Dr. Ray Tari. Welcome to another SOLIDWORKS tutorial. We continue from where we left from previous tutorial. If you remember, we uh, created this basic geometry and we'd like to see how today we can create a drawing from a part. By the way, I noticed I missed uh, a fillet for this edge and maybe this gives us a good opportunity to show you how easily you can modify uh, your drawing simply by pressing a uh, few clicks uh, you have to find variables that fill it so this one is the top one this is the one that I missed right click edit and all I do I select this edge and there we go here I've added that fillet without creating a new uh, feature let me save that first and uh, in order to create a drawing, you go to File, you go to Making a Drawing from the Part, you press here OK. And this is the menu that you get here. You have all the views that you require here. So if you want to have a view here, just drag it here. And as you can see by moving it, you move the cursor around, you can create other views as simple as this. Or if you want, you let me delete them all. Uh, and I go to again to view palette. By the way, if you are missing this uh, because used already, just press refresh. Uh, there is an option here in view layout, and that is standard uh, tree view orthographic, and this is what we have here. Uh, you can move them accordingly. If I move this one, the other two also can move. If you want to move all of them, press shift. And you can move them. Okay. Uh, next thing you should decide is how you want to display. You can have it as a solid, with lines, solid, more realistic, wireframe, or uh, most important in engineering, you need to have a drawing with a hidden line visible. That is what you click. In terms of the size, maybe it's too small. So you go here and you use one one ratio and this is what you get here maybe bring it a little bit this side here and maybe here there we go so this is what I get the next thing uh, is how to dimension your drawing for that you have a couple of options you can go to annotation here and you go smart draw smart uh, dimension you can have a smart dimension here in the top one. I click this one. This is simply what you had before. You just click on this and it gives you all the dimension here, like this dimension. You want to know from, for example, this line to this line. There we go. You have whatever you want. You want to have this, for example, circle here. And by the way, if you notice that this is too big, uh, the font, you go to option here. You go to the document property. You go to dimension. Go to font and maybe instead of 24, I make it 12, which is more reasonable. And there we go here. Uh, so this may take a little while because you have to find all the dimension, or the simpler way of doing it is use the other uh, option, which is uh, smart dimension versus smart dimension. Again, let me select this. Uh, smart dimension, smart dimension, use this dim expert. Uh, before I do that, I would like, because I have a circle here, I would like to find the center mark. For that, insert, annotation, center mark, and I select my circle here, and I have two more here, one here, and one here, and okay, this is required for drawing. So let's go back here to what I have, so smart drawing, and I go to this option here. Now there are a few other um, choices open, you can have the pattern skim, so I use uh, linear, and uh, the dimensioning skim, which is base uh, line, and here, the datum, I use the first option, uh, vertex. So you have to click in a point here, let's just click on this point, okay? And now you can click on uh, the edges. Like for example, if I click on this, automatically it gives me all the information here about my counterboard. 
and other information is here given too or I can simply select here and gives me this information here or I go here and here and gives me uh, these two so it's very kind of handy you can add them or you just uh, cancel them I have another option as well and that is the smart dimension I go here by section and I define two axes of X and I have Y I can do the same thing and then I by clicking for example here gives me the line here or I select here gives me this line and so on you can have added all the dimension by using this feature as well so this is as far as the dimension concerns you should really practice to get more familiar I would like to go to also a few other uh, very important features that you can find in view layout uh, number one you can have uh, these views or you can have an auxiliary view for example I uh, click on auxiliary view and then ask me you uh, pick an, an edge so I pick this edge for example here and as soon as I do that it creates an auxiliary view of that side it shows me someone is looking at that side how it looks like um, so I can delete that that's one options if you would like uh, to get more details of an area which is really cloudy and lots of things going on there is this option here is called view or detail view and you just maybe simply go here and you make a circle the size that you want here and it gives you a 2 to 1 uh, magnification of that area if you want to get more you can change that or actually you can get a view detail of a view detail I want to get it from right here and you can see this is how it looks like so let me delete them so again these are all just for your uh, information sometimes you need to actually section uh, your part so in that case you can use this section there are two choices one is section view like I want to cut it from here to here and you can see that this is basically my section view of my drawing so you see this areas here that has been dash this is this area here and of course when you cut through here you have this area as well this uh, width is the width of from contact from here to here so that's one and sometimes you want to get it uh, and then a line section view from here imagine you want to go from center here to here and then to here and this is another one here look at the E here these are the two views here and that's exactly what we get and you can see I have a cut here right at this uh, counterboard that is the second one uh, Sometimes you are drawing something that has a long arm or a pipe or a tube with an extended section and there is no detail on the section, so you want to truncate that section. Uh, for example, if I want to truncate, let's say this is very uh, long, so I want to truncate that. In that case, you select uh, the view and then you go to break. The break could be either vertical or horizontal. In my case, it's horizontal here. It cuts from here and here, and you can see it breaks it for me. So um, that's what you do. And then you can also increase uh, the gap or make it smaller or bigger. You can change actually to curve or you can make it to a small cut or you can use it the way it was here. And if you want to delete that, just simply click on it, delete and you delete. Sometimes uh, you want to actually take a piece out you want to have a geometry maybe triangle or rectangle and then you cut a piece or extrude cut from your section in that case uh, the option you're using is a broken out section and for broken out section I recommend you what you do you define first uh, a closed geometry and for that I go to sketch go to line 
and assuming I have uh, maybe something like from here to here to here oh I get uh, from here to here hopefully I did right here uh, yes and then you select your drawing uh, maybe okay yeah you select your drawing here and this line and you go back to layout and you go to the broken uh, out section and you define how much you want to get cut out so let me just preview here too uh, let me see here yeah this section wasn't that good let me just delete that I think what I did was I went let me just do another one here section okay let's go from here to here to here to here that is what I need actually yes and then I select these uh, key lines and then I go here to sectioning and here I cut out and since already I cut out that piece out of my um, drawing that could be very handy sometimes if you are doing the drawing and you want to see what if we take this piece off and of course if I go back here to this and you can see you can change it here you can change quite a few things and if you want to totally delete that so you have to see all the informations are here so you see that this broken piece, uh, out section you can take it out simply here by clicking on it and that basically removes that there are other options here you can go through you can see a uh, crop view and so on but these are the more important most important one that I actually show you the, the one that I already explained uh, we will have another completely uh, more detailed uh, tutorial on how to do a professional uh, drawing or out of uh, a part later on but this is just a kind of introductory for creating a drawing uh, thank you very much